Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are once again playing a spaceflight simulator. And today we are back to working on our space station. So, let's go to the build. And basically, today we are going to add another module. We're going to call this like a big storage module, right? Maybe... Maybe they'll uh, store some fuel and they'll store some supplies and whatnot. And it's, you know, going to be right near the, um, right near the entrance to the docking port. And there's, there'll be a hallway through it. So, you know, they don't have that far to initially haul all of the supplies and such. So let's begin the build here. And, um, Basically, what I want to do is I want to make the biggest, most ridiculous possible um, <laughs> module ever. So I'm basically going to just grab two of each of these pieces, something like this, and then we're going to go to our gigantic parts. And I don't believe we have used, oops, I missed one. Not that one. This one. I don't believe we've used gigantic parts yet. So this is going to be uh, the first time. And we're just going to taper it up and then taper it back down. Something like this. And this is going to be our storage module. And what we're going to do is we're going to put two of these large docking ports on it. Something like this. And, you know, Real simple. That's that's basically all I'm doing here. So now we're going to start doing our fairing stuff here. So we've got a fairing and we've got this fairing. Actually, we don't even need the largest of the fairings. That's interesting. I feel like we should have, like, like we would need the real large, large fairing, but uh, apparently we do not. Anyway, we're just going to increase up. Okay, so I need to move this up a little bit then, huh? We're just going to keep increasing it. Uh, here's the fairing we need. Right, is this one less? Yes, okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put uh, this one right here. And then we will build down something like that. I hope I've got enough space for this build here. Because if not, it's going to be a little weird when I have to get actually go through and move this stuff, right? Um, so, now we're going to neck this down like this. And actually, we need to go back to, back to utility first. And we're going to put, not that docking port, that docking port. Like that. And we will build out our actual ship that's going to be transferring this to the station. Since this is a big and heavy module here, I'm going to be using three sets of thrusters this time. And then we'll just use the broadsword like we normally do. And now we can go not to electric, but back to aerodynamic, and we can finish building this out just like this something like that now what are we going to do here we need to put a big and heavy module to actually get this thing into space so we're gonna let's go to utility let's put another probe core on this thing and we're going to build this back out something like Something like this right here. And then we're going to put two of these Frontier engines. And I I don't remember if we've used Frontier engines before. I think we might have, but I'm not entirely sure. So, we're using Frontiers. And then going to put this here, and next we need to go to our giant parts, and not that one, we'll use this one. And then we're going to stack two of these big boys together. 
and use two Titan engines just like this. And now we need some separators. So here's one and two. What is this? Really? Don't do that. Stop. Stop with the notifications. I wish... I wish that I could, like, put this thing into do not disturb mode or something and have it actually, like, prevent my notifications. Because I've tried the do not disturb mode and it doesn't actually seem to prevent the notifications like I would think it would. Um, but whatever. No, that's wrong. We're going to put one of these and then... You know what? Let's let's go to our big parts and put one of these. No. Hmm. No, I think I think we will I think we will go back to giant parts and we'll put one of these ones. And I want to want to give this a nice shape to it. Something like this. So like this, that looks about right, and then put one of these, and go and put the little tip on it, just like that. Big, fat, heavy engines here. Or, or um, boosters. Boosters is what I'm looking for. Bam, put a couple more of these Titan engines on there. And despite having all of this, like, ridiculous thrust, uh, not thrust, but, uh, ridiculous weight here, because we're over a thousand tons right now, um, even though we're over a thousand tons, we actually have a 1.6 for our thrust to weight ratio, which is very, very good here. All right. So here's the rocket. We have a great big payload. Thir uh, not 13. 11, 30.4 tons. 1,130.4 tons. So we're just going to launch this thing. And we're going to have to zoom out like we always do to get a nice picture of this. We're going to have to zoom out quite far here because this is this really is a big rocket. You know? All right. So, the way we're going to do this, one, two, three, four. We're going to use four of those on the boosters. And basically, that's going to be pretty close to actually, like, even a one-to-one -one thrust ratio. But that's going to get us up in the air and, you know, out of... <laughs> out of the uh, lower atmosphere, at least to a little bit here. Oh, look at how slow this thing is taking off. Come on, I want to follow it. Perfect. So this really is like the ultimate big, heavy, slow rocket here. And we're just going to start turning over ever so slowly. We really, really do want to make sure that we actually get a nice high trajectory on this one. We don't want to be, you know, <laughs> turning too soon or we're not going to get anywhere with this thing. Here we are. So we are we are getting close to 2000 and we're a little behind on our turning, but that's okay. Like I said, we want to be nice and high for this one. We don't want to, you know, accidentally, like, <laughs> like go too low and run out of fuel. So, I'm fine being a little slow on my turning here. Ideally, we're going to get this to, like, 20 kilometers or so before we end up separating this one. I think we actually might be able to get ourselves out of the atmosphere. Or at least get our apoapsis out of the atmosphere here. If we're careful. If we're not, we'll be at about 20. And uh, we'll be able to just, you know, separate and then continue with the second stage. So there's 20. Just about out. We need to zoom in on this massive beast. 
boom, one, two, turn it off, one, two, turn it back on. There we go. Now, our first goal here needs to be to raise our apoapsis out of the atmosphere. That needs to be the primary thing that we're doing here. So we're going to go to about uh, 30.5, uh, no, 35, excuse me, kilometers here. And then we're going to make sure that we get out of the atmosphere. So just a little bit farther here. I can actually turn over. There we go. All right, so now we're out of the atmosphere. We are slowing down a little bit, but that's okay. So we're going to turn ourselves over until we're basically going horizontal. We need to add speed, sideways speed, to our orbit here. Because if we don't, then we are not going to make it. And that's not going to be good. So let's turn just slightly radial out here so we'll be ready. Where are we? Where are we? Here we are. Okay, add a fuel. Boom. Turn that off. One, two, and then we go way, way over here, pop the fairing, and turn our thrusters on. Alright, so we need to go radial out because we still have some speed to gain here. So right about there, we are no longer actually, like, gaining on our apple apps, which is fine here. We can slowly start turning towards radial in as we go. And that should be, um, you know, decent right there. We're going to make it. There's, there's no way that we can... Well, <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself saying there's no way we can fail. But uh, it's probably fairly unlikely that we would fail at this point. All right. So we're almost... 100% in orbit here. We have like 5-10 more seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it keep going. I'm going to boost it up to 245, where we normally want to be, and that will allow us to intercept the station. Now, we do want to be careful that we don't run out of fuel here, because we do have to uh, get this module back home and deorbit it. So we are going to. Ooh, that's actually a very close intercept right there. Look at that, eight eight kilometers. So I am going to separate this right now. All right, there's that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our way around, but we we want to switch craft here. Switch to, switch to this one, and we're going to turn the RCS thrusters on and see how close we can actually get our intercept. So let's... 25.7, 24... Ooh, 21... I don't know how I managed to do this. I wasn't even trying on this one. Like, legit. This was just dumb luck. And I'm I'm sorry I have to admit that, but I do, because I didn't try. Alright, so it looks like the closest we can really get is... Oops, I forgot to turn my thruster on. There it is. Yeah, it looks like that's about the closest we're going to end up getting here. Maybe if I rotate myself slightly radial in, I can get a little tiny bit closer, but I'm not I'm not thinking I will because see how this is straight out? 923, 925. Uh, yeah, see, see how that's straight out? We're actually gonna miss it. So what we can do is make our way around. And we're just going to go and turn our RCS off, make the rotation. And this is a very 
very big and heavy module, so it's going to actually take quite a while to rotate. And remember, the easiest way to stop the rotation is to time warp just ahead and back. All right, that's perfect. Now we will switch to our big heavy rocket and wait until it's at apoapse. So right about here. Now, just look around really quick. Make sure that the other rocket's not going to be in the way. I don't think it is. We're going to burn. And there we are, a collision course. I'm actually just going to burn all the way down and, you know, use up all my fuel. There we go. Now we can switch back to this one. And we can go around again. All right, now... Interesting. This should be the pass right here where we're going to be the closest we could ever be to this thing. Now let's see if there's a way I can get even closer. I really don't think there is. Not on this. I think I'm going to have to... Well, maybe a little bit. Look at this. We are getting somewhere here. 16, 15, 14... 13, 12, 11, okay, 10, 9, 800 meters, ooh, 600, 500, 400, I'm just going to, I'm going to stop at like 250 meters here. There we are, that, that's like legitimately perfect right there. Um, so, now, you know what, I don't know... I do know we do need to be we do need to be pointing prograde here. So let's begin the rotation to prograde. It's right about right about there is what we want. And we're just going to wait here. We should probably time warp. Time warp will follow this guy. And here we are. I hope I didn't get these things too close together, and they're on like a collision course or something. <laughs> Alright, let's burn. We need to raise our periaps here. 50.9. Okay. Now, this thing right here is going to... Ba basically, since it's so big and heavy, it's going to take like literally all of our fuel to go through and get here to where we need to be. Look at that. Look at how slowly our periaps is rising. <laughs> oh, and it's passed by us, too. Alright, so... I wonder if we can see it. Can we see the station? We can see the station. Okay. So it's actually moving away from us because we're still going too slow. But that's okay. In, I don't know, a little bit of time here, we'll be catching up to it. 250. So our apoaps is ever so slightly too high here. Okay, it looks like it's basically stopped. Alright, so... Where's it going? It's still going away from us. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our RCS on. And we are going to use RCS. Now, the other thing we can do is we're going to transfer some fuel into this thing right now while we have the time to do so. And we'll put it back. I mean, <laughs> we don't need all of this fuel. And what we're going to do is we're going to use RCS thrusters here to go through and raise our periaps and potentially lower our apoaps a little bit too. Now this is hard because of how big and heavy this thing is. Alright, so... Now we're going to begin chasing this thing around to try and catch up to it. So there it is. We will boost 
until it's coming towards us, which it is ever so slowly now. Okay, so we can rotate ourselves downward, and rotating this thing takes a lot. Just like this. I believe it's coming towards us now, so we'll turn off. We'll accelerate a little more. There we go. See how close we are now? All, all of a sudden, it, it's not like it takes that long to do. You just got to have some patience to do it this way. All right, so right about, right about here is probably good. Okay, so let's go back this way a little tiny bit. There we go. That should put it... Pa oh dear! Oh no! Alright. We're actually very, very close to matching its speed right now. See how slowly it's heading towards us? It's actually a surprise. I wasn't expecting to get that close with my uh, just burning <laughs> with the great big engine. That's okay. Alright, we can do this. We're going to have to slow our sideways momentum so we can get a little more up and down. There we go. Now we can do some more sideways. Okay, so we go up. Oh dear. I forgot about one thing. We have that we have that little uh rocket attached in the docking port here. So let's switch to the station. And what we want to do, we have 100% fuel in this thing, so let's, let's move that fuel anywhere else. Let's just throw it in this one right here. There we go. Anything else that needs to be filled? I think basically, yeah, it looks like all of the other modules are full. So what we're going to do is turn RCS on. Oh, it's the station that we managed to grab. Right. Switch to this one? No. <laughs> Alright. Zoom in on this mess. Oh dear, what have we done? Let's see if we can get this before it reattaches. It looks like we did not. Alright. So what we're... Oh, that doesn't sound good. What we've done is we've detached it, we rotate it ever so slightly, and that should prevent that rocket from reattaching to the station until we're able to gain control of it. There it is. All right. So what we want to do is move this thing out of out of the impact zone, out of the station's path of travel, and turn the engine on. There it is. Alright, and we can just deorbit it. Nice and easy. We have way too much fuel on this, but we didn't need it in the station, so that's alright. Now we can just switch to this. Alright. Finally. So. What we are going to do is finish uh, lining ourselves up with the station now. Come on. Hmm. This is not quite what I wanted to happen, because now that I've rotated it and whatnot, I'm no longer moving in the right direction.
There we go. Here we are. Now we're heading back to the station. That's good. We can just carefully monitor our side to side momentum here to make sure that we don't smack into anything. We can speed up time a little bit too. That usually helps. All right, there we go. Give ourselves a little more side to side and that should allow us to get in here fairly easily. All right. Remember, it adds so much rotation to this because this is a great big module just sort of sitting way out there. All right, we're almost done though. We just have a little bit more to go. And there's connection. Come on, go the right way to actually connect, please. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That took much longer than it should have. All right, now, while we're here and we have RCS thrusters going, what we're going to do is raise our apoapsis and our, or lower our apoapsis and raise our periapsis. There we go, 251 by 251. That's good enough, close enough. So the final thing we have to do is we're going to go through and transfer some fuel back into this module. Remember, we need about 5% fuel to successfully deorbit this. Five, good, 5%. So then we can click to deorbit, move away. Where's retrograde? Retrograde is over there. Okay. So wait just a second till we clear the station, turn our engine on, and off we go to deorbit. We will also be de we also have this one that's deorbiting, but that's okay. So those two will crash. Here's our station. It's actually coming along very nicely here. I feel like I feel like while I'm right here, I'm actually going to deorbit this module too, only because of that way I shouldn't have any random ships docked to this thing, yeah. All right, there we go. I'm not sure which one's gonna stop first. I might run out of fuel in this. Nope. All right, so the station is fully fueled again. We have 100% fuel in this, bam. There we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the station without the RCS then I can switch to the appropriate target, please. Switch to, yep, that's right, this one. Turn my RCS on. I'm actually just gonna back away, rotate myself around, turn my engine on. Bam, and off we go. Successfully deorbiting yet another craft here. This one should be nice and easy, let's just, make sure that we're not doing something stupid and deorbiting one of these things right onto one of our modules, huh? So this one's good. That one's good. And where is it? And that's that's not it. It's this one. Okay, so that's all three of those deorbited. And now we should probably go through and fix our fix our orbit again ever so slightly here. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's 250, so we're going to go around. There's all three of those deorbited right here. <laughs> Almost done. Oh, so close. There we go. 250 by 250. All right. There we are. We are done with this episode. And next time, when we return, we are going to be continuing with construction of the space station. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Flight Simulator. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.